All right, all right, all right, it's gonna be a good day today. Say what's up to me down below. Tell me your scent of the day down below. I got a banging list of eight cheap clone fragrances for any occasion. So they're mostly gonna be fresh, because again, they're supposed to be versatile all year round. You can wear them to work, on a date, to the gym even. So that's why I'm saying most of them are gonna be fresh. This could be a summertime list also, but I'm looking at this as a cheap clone fragrance for any occasion. Let's jump into the first one. And it's probably the most versatile banger in the last year. It's been on like literally every single flipping list I've seen. And it's Fakar Black YSL Y clone. The front of this bottle is ridiculous. Ridiculous, and my wife keeps getting her little paws all over it, and it's so reflective, and if I show you any other angle, you'll see my whole back cave here, but it's got the cool fish scales on the back, I keep it on the back, aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody, fruity, I mean, you can see all the notes, it's delicious, but it's got a little bit of warm, spicy in there, a little green in there, I mean, this, I'm telling you, all year round. It's a versatile banger. Whatever you're doing, going to work, going on a date, chilling by the pool, no matter what, this has got you covered. You could literally just have this one fragrance and it's 20 flipping dollars, so hello does not get any better than that. You could have this one fragrance, not mess around with any of this other crazy fragrance game, and just be set. And you're gonna be smelling good, and people are gonna think you got your life together, because not only do you look good, you're fresh, you got a fragrance on. And you realize once you get in the fragrance game that most people do not wear fragrances. So just even having a fragrance on automatically elevates you one level above the little Joe standing next to you that's got no fragrance on, all right? So for $20, you could be set elevating your whole game for any occasion. Boom, for Car Black. Oh, it's Latafa if you didn't know, all right? It's Latafa. All right, next one up, a big favorite for me, Sapple Intense for Men. This is one of the first clones I got. Actually, I love it. Another one here, perfect example. Look at all the notes in here. You got aromatic, fresh, spicy, but you also got that warm, spicy amber with a little fruity in there, some citrus, lavender. I mean, it's got a little bit of everything. I mean, come on. What more can you ask for besides maybe like $100 million? And yeah, people tell me it smells like Azaro Wanted. I really like this. No matter what it's cloning, I think it's good. If you can get this around that $20 mark, I'm pretty sure I paid under $20, but if you can get this around that $20 mark, I definitely think it's worth it. It's got this silly little bottle here. It's got its little gangster lean to the side like that. Sapple Intense for any occasion. I'm pretty sure this one's got you covered. I like it. All right, next one up. New addition to the stable here. Sucrat. I mean, this looks like blow. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Some funny little word there. I, li I like the way it kind of looks though. But anyways, Sucrat. It's supposed to be an Aqua Di Gio Profomo clone, and like, yeah, it definitely smells in the Aqua Di Gio family. Like I said when I first smelled it, this just smells like a cologne to me. If aliens came down from outer flipping space or the next flat earth over, and they saw me walking down the street, and they said, hey, Junior, over there with your silly little bracelets on, what is a cologne? I, we've been hearing this word cologne. I would tell them to go to the local pharmacy and ask them for Aqua Di Gio. That would probably steer them on the right track. And since this kind of smells like Aqua Di Gio, this also could be shown to those little alien friends. So I really like this, and again, another one that you could wear in all situations. You could see from the notes, citrus, warm, spicy, but you also got that little musky in there, fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody in there, like I'm saying. I think you could wear this at night, you could wear it during the day, you could wear this jet skiing, a little mini golf, whatever it is you're doing. This one's got you covered, you're set, and another one, $20, you're good, you could just have this one fragrance if you want to, and you're set. You don't have to mess around with 10,000 fragrances for no reason, you could just have this and be good to go. So, La Tafa, Sucrat, Aqua Di Gio Profomo clone, it's delicious. All year round banger, 20 books, 20 books, 20 bucks, <laughs> 20 books. I don't even know what accent that would be. 20 books. All right. We got the club, didn't we? Intense man now. Now this one, it, it's starting to grow on me. Again, this is just like a banger that everybody likes. But for me, for some reason, I don't know. The dry down on me goes in a funny little way. I'm still trying to like put my finger on exactly the word that this gives me when it dries down, but I can really understand why people like it. The citrus, smoky little woody aspects in there with the aromatic and a little bit of freshness. And I will say, the few times I've sprayed this on my skin because I'm letting it sit for a bit, I want to come back to it in a video where it's been a month where I've let it sit. Before I let it sit and I sprayed it on my skin a bunch of times, Man, this was a beast. It was lasting. I could smell this the next day after a shower. Like, I don't know what was going on. It was clawing to me, like flipping venom or something. Yeah, anyways, I'm still kind of warming up to it. I could see why people like it. But like I said, all year round banger. But of course, this is an Aventus clone. So if you can go try and smell Aventus, see if you like it before you maybe blind buy this. But if your favorite reviewer tells you, this is wonderful, it's the bee's knees, everybody's gotta have it, blah, 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 blah. Well, then maybe trust their opinion. But to me, I see why people like it. I'm letting it sit a month so it can manipulate or matriculate or whatever it's supposed to be doing over there. Anyways, the next one, Kayan Al Fusan, absolutely delicious. We don't have to spend much time on it, 20 bucks. Magnetic cap, fresh, delicious. The notes say all types of things. To me, this is just pineapple. And again, kind of in that cologne family. Gives me like 90s vibes, like what you would think a cologne smells like. Just fresh, delicious, out of the shower, but this one's got that little pineapple twist on it. I really like it. I wore this in the winter in Las Vegas. I was jamming, I was all over the place. Not one person gave me a compliment, 
But I can know by the way they were looking at me that they wanted to give me a compliment. They were just scared because in real life, I'm pretty intimidating. But anyways, this for 20 bucks, absolute banger. I'll, I'll mention it on every list forever because that's the fragrance of start of this channel. Next, we got Ornament. Oh, and K. Adel Fusan is Latafa, sorry. Uh, oh, and Club Zinui is arm off. I didn't say that. Oh, and if you're enjoying the video, hit that like button down below. It takes you a split second, but I really appreciate it. All right, off non ornament. Another one that I think the notes really tell the story, but not fully because the opening note is warm, spicy, and then woody and fruity, and then fresh, spicy, fresh, aromatic. Now, I think this comes off a lot more fresh than it's saying. This is another one that I think would be good all year round. It comes off just delicious on my skin. I'm gonna smell it right now. Oh, I love it. It's supposed to be a stronger with you mixed with 1 million elixir. I think that's what I was told when I originally was researching this, but to me, this just smells fresh and delicious. I do get a little bit of that 1 million family in there, but a little bit fresher. So again, another one that kind of just bends my mind in a little Tetris piece like this little bottle is because of the notes and the way it smells. I, I just think it's really versatile. You can wear it all year round. I really like it. I wish the bottle was nicer. I think a lot more people would buy it and I would probably reach for it more too if the bottle was a little nicer. I actually just keep it in the bathroom because it takes up a lot of space on the shelf. But again, all year round, versatile, cheap. I mean, win, 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 banger, banger, banger. It, you just gotta hold it in this funny little way, this little Tetris piece. But all around, like I'm saying, any occasion, especially for the price, absolutely love it. All right, second to last, we got another hit ride here, Imperium, but again, this is a little bit on the manly side. You need to seriously know what's going on with life to be wearing this. You cannot be some little noob. If you're like 14 wearing this, well, you're just gonna smell like your dad or something. Yeah, maybe the teacher will think you smell nice. Pretty sure it's just gonna come off smelling a little manly. You need to have multiple bank accounts to be wearing a fragrance that smells like this. If I see some widgets on your phone, they should be of stocks and crypto and banking information and stuff like that. My point is, you are a man if you were wearing a smell like this. And that's it. You can see by the notes, grapefruit, bergamot, thyme, I said, I don't know what thyme is. Lemon, galbanum, yeah, all right, bro. I don't know what galbanum is. It sounds like some flipping Marvel villain or something. Lime and wormwood. Well, hopefully there's no worms in that wormwood. But this just smells flipping manly. When I first smelled it, I don't know, it just smelled like some type of manly fougere. But now it still smells like a manly fougere, but maybe I got a little bit more manlier so I could wear it. Maybe I needed to get up my manliness to be able to wear this. Maybe that was what was going on. All right, last but not least, another arm off banger, train we. Unless you're brand new here on this channel, we call this fragrance Very Night for Guys, and it's absolutely delicious. It's a clone Cree, it's a Cree clone of green Irish tweed, and although green Irish tweed sounds like something nobody would wear, this smells like something anybody could wear anytime. It's absolutely delicious. And although the, that like powdery violet lavender note in this little note breakdown I think might scare some people away, to me this dries down a lot manlier and more delicious than what this says. I think that woody amber kind of comes through, but I could see people definitely thinking this leans unisex, but to me this just smells like Fresh man, you are going to some nice restaurant on the lake, pulling up in a $2 million Chris Craft. You are old school money, smelling good, not caring what other people think. Mm. Yeah, to me, this is just a fresh boss scent, all year round banger that you can wear whenever you want, work, date, fun times, getting shit done times, whatever. This one's got you covered. So very nice for guys, arm off. Our last one on the little list here. Give me a like down below. Tell me some of your versatile, cheap clones that are good for all year round. I'll put them in the next list. I love you guys. Say what's up to me down below, and I'm gonna see you later. Bye for now.